Here we have the absolute value in equality, 9 sevenths times the absolute value of 4 thirds k minus 1 half plus 1 third is greater than 4 thirds. So after rewriting, we're going to first subtract 1 third from both sides of the inequality. Next, we're going to multiply both sides by 7 ninths to clear the fraction on the left hand side and get the absolute value by itself. Now that we have the absolute value by itself on one side of the inequality, we can rewrite it as 4 thirds k minus 1 half is less than negative 7 ninths, or 4 thirds k minus 1 half is greater than 7 ninths. First, we're going to multiply out the left hand side of the equation by 18 to get rid of our fractions. And this gives 24k minus 9 is less than 14. Next, we're going to add 9 to both sides to get rid of the single term, giving 24k is less than negative 5. And then to get k by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 24, and this results in k is less than negative 5 24ths. Now we're going to go to the right-hand side, and we're going to begin by multiplying out both sides by 18 again so we can get rid of all our fractions. This gives 24k minus 9 is greater than 14. Then we're going to add 9 to both sides to get rid of the single term, and this gives 24k is greater than 23. And then to get k by itself, we divide both sides by 24. And this gives k is greater than 23 24ths. Looking at it on a number line, it looks like an open circle from negative 5 24ths to negative infinity in union with an open circle from 23 24ths to infinity. In interval notation, this looks like an open bracket from negative infinity to negative 5 24ths in union with an open bracket from 23 24ths to infinity. And that's our final answer.